I love all you beautiful gamers. I have some bad news. I already completed this quest on Razum. Damn you, fine. I recorded it, but I forgot I didn't have my mic plugged in. Oh, I feel so dumb, but oh well. I'm here on Lady Valserin, and we're gonna save this zoo. And we're gonna save Lotus, and it's gonna be great. It's nice to play as a healer every once in a while. Just in case I die, which I probably will. Not to brag, but I always die. Uh-oh, it's those guys again. I'm gonna just sneak by them. Hopefully they'll be too busy attacking each other to notice me. And thank goodness I've got a little bit of light to see. It's still kind of dark though, it's still nighttime. I never seem to be online when it's like daytime in the game. It looks like someone's been through here. Killing all the zoo animals before I get a chance to. It's less animals that I have to sneak by. I'm really surprised he didn't see me. Don't you do it. Don't you look at me. I can't believe this is working. When I recorded with Razum, damn you fine. Everything attacked me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I spoke too keys? soon. I'm feeling exposed out here. So, we're really doing this? For Lotus' sake, I hope Elise is wrong. We gotta save Lotus. Ew. What's that smell? It's coming from over here. Oh, it's a baby. Oh. They took a baby. And a lizard. I knew they were up to something here. It smells awful. Alchemical. This equipment isn't incriminating enough on its own though. Vinalora could justify it for medicinal uses. We need to find evidence that can't be explained away so easily. Any idea what that could be? Samples? Records? A test subject? Anything that proves without a doubt that the animals here are being used for something other than conservation. There's probably more upstairs. Okay, I'll go look real quick. Oh my gosh. They're killing animals! No. Whoa. These poor creatures. Right? That's what I Let's said. Let's find out what Vinalora was doing with them. That's so mean. I can't. My heart. So we need to look for evidence. Inventory of this week's delivery of feed product is as follows. Okay, so this is just an invoice for food for the animals. Can't really use that. Your burdensome assistant keeper has repeatedly hounded my rangers for opportunities to assist with their duties and applied for yet another transfer to ranger detail. I do not know what accent I'm doing. I'm just rolling with it. I suggest you keep at least too busy with her current duties to find opportunities to pester her better. How you handle your staff is your own affair, but when it begins to affect our work, I take an issue and kindly inform Elise that rangers excel at silence so she can begin her training there. Oh, okay. They really don't like Elise. Maybe they knew that she was a spy. Serum infusion report. Of the animals tested thus far, Endrix have shown the most promising results. Their inherent magical abilities are enhanced to exceptional levels by their infusion process. If we focus our efforts on Endrix, we should be able to refine the process until we can produce a safer serum with wider applications. Endrix from the wild have displayed dramatic behavioral shifts after treatment, becoming abnormally aggressive. This makes them both unmanageable and incredibly dangerous. All but our most recent specimen have had to be put down, and it won't be long before it will share the same fate. My recommendation would be to see if a domesticated Endrix poses the same risk. Lotus is far more tame than any Endrix we would find in the wild. They're gonna... Oh my gosh, they're gonna experiment on Lotus. No! 
and might handle the process better. Talamar will pose a problem with his unprofessional attachment to the creature. Separating the two without raising suspicion will be difficult. But if he is resistant to rearing new animals, some suitably hazardous duties can be arranged. Oh no! Hey, what are you reading over there? Something bad! You found something important, didn't you? I could read it on your face from across the room. What's in those papers? Nothing good. See for yourself. Vinalora, you piece of- Shit. This is everything I need to prove she's been abusing her position here. I have to get this to the Proxy Queen. What about Lotus and Talamar? I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but he deserves to know. Let's find him and get out of here before our luck runs out. All right. This should be all I need. Where did Talamar wander off to? Disobedience doesn't suit you, Talamar. Uncooperative animals don't last long here. What have you done with Lotus, you monster? I'd be more concerned for yourself right now. What do you think, Talamar? It can't end here! There has to be something we can do to stop her! Keep Finalora distracted. I've got an idea. Aye aye, Captain. Hey! Try something rash, and Talamar will sprout an arrow from the eye. You've all caused me enough trouble for one day. Why are you experimenting with Indrix? They're a very special beast. Revered, even. As blessed beings who are as graced by the gods as we Ultima. They are a gift to our people. Not found anywhere else in the world, and we have squandered their potential too long. To what end? Maintaining our natural primacy. What else? The mongrels of Tamriel infest everything. Even our unspoiled isles now. But their overgrowth can be curbed. They only need a natural predator. The Indrix will be our immortal Adric Avengers. I honestly can't take her seriously when she calls the Indrix Avengers. I usually call them avatars because they're the master of all four elements and kick my ass in the wild. <laughs> but now that I'm thinking of them as Avengers, I just keep thinking, there's Hulk Indrix, and over there's the mighty lightning Indrix Thor. Or maybe there's just this Indrix from a distant land that Tamriel's never heard of, Captain America Indrix, and that's all I'm going to think about now until I see Avengers Endgame. I haven't seen it yet, but I want to this weekend. I won't let you continue these experiments, even though Indrix Avengers sounds really cool, and I wish I would have thought of that. You're in no position to stop me. This enclosure is as strong as a fortress, and these barriers are impenetrable by even the Indric's effortless teleportation. Surrender before my- what was that? What was what? I wasn't distracting you. Nah. No. The wards! The Indrix will run wild! Good. So much for your grand plans. Elise, I should have known you'd be behind this! Good luck containing your experiments. We'll give your regards to the queen. This isn't Dover, mongrel! You'll all Talmar. pay for this! No! Oh, that was so mean! Damn Vinalora! I can't let her turn Lotus into some sort of monster. I have to find her. You're wounded. Let me find Lotus. It should be me. I'm the closest to family she has next to the queen. Oh, I feel so helpless. Promise me you'll bring back Lotus unharmed. But what if they've already done something to her? I... I don't want to think about that. Finding Lotus comes first. If she's changed, you just have to get through to her. I'll try. Thank you. For everything. Be careful. Vinalora must have been more shaken than she looked. She didn't hit anything vital, far as I can tell. Well, that's good. I don't usually work on people, but if I can stitch up feuding a Chater, I can handle this. Well, I'm gonna run ahead because I'm gonna save Lotus. You can't be serious. There's nothing stopping Lotus from escaping on her own now. We've got what we need to bring Vinalora down. There's no reason to risk your life. There is, though. I promised Talamar I'd help him keep Lotus safe, and I intend to keep that. He's lucky to have found someone as foolish as he is. At least take my ward breaker in case Vinalora reactivates the cages. I'll get Talamar out of harm's way. Good luck, all right? Good luck to you as well. All right, let's go Hang kick- Hang on, Talamar. Kick we'll some butt. We'll get you out of here. 
Oh my gosh. So many Ingdrix. I'm gonna try to sneak past. Maybe I could ride by on my mount. Alright, here we go. Can't catch me! No, I guess they can't catch me! Oh, Avenger Eendrix, why? Oh, good thing I'm a healer. Might as well pull them all. How the latest serum performs in live tests. Let's find out. Yeah, just run by. Don't help me. Run while you can. Oh my gosh! This is why I called them the Avatar because they're the master of all fucking four elements and just want to kick my ass. But I do like calling them Avenger Eendrix now because the lightning, the fire, and just because I really like the Avengers, the movies. So, which one of you is Doctor Strange? He's kind of my favorite. I'm a really big fan of Benedict Cumberbatch. There you are. I found ye! Oh, that's not fair! You get someone to help you, and it's an Indrick. There'll be time enough to fix this once you're all dead. I don't want to be dead. Good thing I'm a healer. Lead me from this forsaken place. You'd think the Eendrick would just give up and stop attacking me. Maybe it's doing that because of the serum. Maybe it was infected. Or maybe it's just really freaking hates me. God damn Avenger Eendrix. Oh my gosh. One new fear. Lotus! You cutie patootie! I'm here to save you! There she is, the big cutie pie. Love her so much. Is that portal for me? Aw, thank you! Lotus! She's alright! Thank Jeffa! Oh, thank you! Damn it, Talamar! You're going to reopen that wound. He was so worried about Lotus. It's so good to see Lotus alive and well. I couldn't stop thinking of her scared and injured or, or worse. If Vinalora had turned her into some kind of monster, I swear we should flee before Vinalora and her rangers come after us. Vinalora's dead. She tried to kill me with the help of her creations. Gods, that's terrible. I won't shed tears over Vinalora. She had to be stopped. But I'm so sorry you have her blood on your hands. I guess this is the end of the Royal Menagerie. How so? With the Conservator gone, there's no one in charge of trying to get this place back in order. It'll all come apart by the time the Proxy Queen allocates a replacement. If she allocates a replacement. Well, you could do it. Me? Run the Menagerie? I'd love to see it put back the way I remember it. But will it ever be the same now that I know what was really happening here? I could just take Lotus and put all this behind us. You should stay. You can make sure the animals are really cared for here. Do a better job than Venalora. Yes. I know myself well enough to know I would be miserable just abandoning this place. I've poured so much of my life into it. Maybe I can do some good here. Change the way these animals are treated. Exactly. I can't think of anyone more qualified for the job. These animals deserve better than to be left to fend for themselves. I owe them that much. I'll do everything I can for them. You have my word. Plus, I think the queen would like to keep her zoo open. And he was her favorite keeper, so I think she'll be fine with it. Don't suppose I could declare it a wildlife preserve and leave the animals to roam freely, could I? I'm going to have my work cut out for me getting this place back in order. What's the first order of business, acting conservator? I'll take Lotus and try to find other survivors who escaped the chaos. Convincing them to return won't be easy, but I'm certain I can get at least a few other keepers and rangers to follow my lead. After that, a whole lot of wrangling. Do you expect any trouble from Vinalora's people? She's gone, and their operation is in shambles. I don't see why they'd stick around. But I'll be sure to burn their research at the first opportunity. Nothing like that will ever happen again under my watch. That's a really good idea. I was attacked by other Indrix when I was searching for Lotus. Is that normal? Wild Indrix are aggressive towards things they perceive as threats. Even if Vinalora hadn't given them her vile serums, they couldn't have been happy about being penned up like cattle. There may be hope for them, if the legends are true. What legends? 
It is said that when Indra die, their souls don't leave Mundus. Instead, Jeffra plants them back into the land to sprout again as reborn fawns. Oh, that's so if cute. It's true, you think they remember their old lives? I like to believe Lotus will remember me. If that's true, they'd also remember what Venalora did to them. Then I do hope they forgive us for her transgressions. I'll do my best to make it up to any others I meet. How are things with Elise? She endangered every living thing here with the stunt she pulled. It'll be days before we know the final toll of stopping Vinalora. I know Elise did this for the right reasons, but I, I don't know that I can forgive her for all this bloodshed. I can't really blame him. I mean, she did really mess up by poisoning all the animals. I mean, yeah, it worked. It was a great diversion. But at what cost, like he said, all those lives? It looks like it gives me two options, though, and they're not permanent. So let's try this one first. She made a mistake, but she did save you and Lotus's lives on more than one occasion. That's what makes it hard. Everything worked out for me. It's not my grudge I'm holding on to. It's theirs. All those innocent lives. She's a good person, but I'm going to need time. And that's totally understandable. And now I'm going to try this one. Her recklessness had grave consequences. She shouldn't be let off that easily. I'm not trying to punish her. It's not my place. I just can't stomach the cost of her actions. And if she can't either, maybe I will be able to forgive what she did. I hope she does realize that she did something wrong. Ooh, I leveled up. I'm level 24 now. I'm going to be able to make a great healer out of this character yet. I was going to recommend that the Queen shut this place down when I gave my report. But if Talamar thinks he can rebuild it into a place where the animals come first, I bet I can make the promotion stick. He was always her favorite keeper. Well, what's next for you? I'll head to Alinor to present my findings to the proxy queen and send a letter to Queen Irene. After that, I don't know. I'm not really much used to either of them now. I guess a life of tending stables is all I'm really suited for. So that's what you used to do before you became a temporary spy. That's kind of neat. Looks like the options are the same. They're not really permanent, so I can click both. I think you proved yourself here. Things didn't go as planned, but you got the job done. You think? It was you who wound up doing most of the work. But I guess I did a pretty good job of sabotaging everything. Maybe I have a new calling in breaking things. And now to see her response to this one. You don't really seem suited to the life of a spy. I know. If it hadn't been for you and Talamar, I'd probably be dead. Lotus would be a monster, and nobody would be the wiser. It was nice feeling important for a while, but wow, it's stressful. It is very stressful. Being the hero of Tamriel, being the queen spy, all of it. It's so stressful. You know, Talamar could really use your help around here. I suppose I do owe him for the mess I made. Assuming he'll even trust me around another animal, I'll consider it. One way or another, I'll get him the help he needs. Promise. This could be a way for her to redeem herself by helping him rebuild the zoo and working with animals. She doesn't have to be a spy anymore because, honestly, I don't think she's qualified for the job. I don't want to see her return to the stables. I mean, she's already worked here for so many years. She might as well stay and help out. Well, now that that's done, let's continue down the main road and try to find more side quests. I just realized the sun came back out. It's nice to run around and see where I'm going for a change. My mouth doesn't exactly come with headlights and I can't put a lantern on it. Oh, a side quest. What kind of monster arranges acacias and begonias in the same beds? Are you complaining about flowers? I can't seem to get ahead here. Is that... Tell me this is your friend who helps you maintain your garden and not a slave. Oh, Baskin Gardens. Aww. Okay, what's wrong with your flowers? If you've come to bask in the splendor of my latest outdoor arrangement, you're too late. They're ruined. Cast into unsightly disarray by a barbaric vandal. Just go home and spare yourself the disappointment. What exactly has been vandalized? Your garden? My garden? My art has been violated. Desecrated by some vulgar wood elf who thinks being raised in the wild gives him the right to pervert my designs. Now he's threatening my life. Can you believe it? I can kind of believe it. I mean, 
what else worship nature? They have this thing called the Green Pact, and they don't like anyone messing with plants. So maybe he came to Somerset and he's really confused about what's going on. He wants to harm you over a garden. Not just a garden, the very art of gardening. Eslian is waging a war on Altma horticulture. I represent everything he despises, so he's targeting my work. He's gone too far this time, planting stranglers to ward me away. They could kill someone. She's kind of got a point. This is her home. Her house, her garden, and he's planting stranglers everywhere just because he doesn't agree with her lifestyle. I could deal with the stranglers for you. I'll help you out. Stranglers are a stubborn breed. Hacking them up would only be a temporary solution. What I need is proof that the wood elf is responsible, so he can't do any more damage. Perhaps Eslian left something at my gardens that could be incriminating? How do you know this wood elf, Eslian, is responsible? Weeks ago... Eslian came here to convince me that wilderness should be allowed to grow unchecked and untamed, as in Greenshade. Obviously, I found his argument lacking. It wasn't long after that the tampering began. Did you speak with the authorities? Of course, but they are of little help. Can't spare time for criminal mischief. It seems selling our pristine lands doesn't count among the worst things all these Nebera are up to. It's obvious who the culprit is, but I lack proof, so he runs free. What sort of proof am I looking for? The wood elf's tampering is sloppy, careless, maybe even thoughtless. I'm sure he's left traces of his work. A discarded trowel, foreign seeds, his own dung, or whatever a wood elf uses to fertilize soil. It'd be trivial if not for the stranglers. Why would the vandal target you specifically? I am the foremost authority of the Altma Botanical Arts. My vision has literally shaped the lay of the land from Alinor to Sunhold, and my best arrangements grace the royal palace. If you take issue with our methods, you take issue with me. Do people often take issue with your methods? Occasionally. There are always up-and-comers looking to stir up controversy or make their mark. But no one who desired any respect in the field would stoop to sabotage or assault. Why do you think the Stranglers and the Wood Elf are related? Those monstrosities aren't native to any Isle of Somerset, and they couldn't have crossed the seas naturally. Even if they could, the Stranglers would be more widespread. They were brought here and planted deliberately among my arrangements. Okay, I'll go look for them. I'll go kill those Stranglers. This isn't green shade, buddy. You just can't plant stranglers wherever you want all willy-nilly. This is the prestige land of the Somerset people. Oh, there's something. This must be one of her gardens. Ooh, strangler. Strangler! Ooh. I forgot that they could pull you in like that. Hmm. Now on to the next one. We've almost got all the evidence we need. Oh! 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 There's more! Oh my gosh. Well, at least one died. So I don't have to worry about that one anymore. There's another one? Oh my gosh. Is this just gonna be never ending stranglers? That better be the last of them. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, it's safe over this way. Follow me. It's you! You're the wood elf she was bitching about. Dude, you really pissed that high up. I don't think lady. anything untoward's taking root here. Let's uh, have a chat, shall we? Dude. That high elf's really pissed at you. Hope those stranglers didn't hurt you. They're ornery buggers. Nearly ate my fool cousin one time, but he was so drunk that... Ah, no, never mind. Not the time. Yes, it is. Tell As me. As you can see, there's a bit of an infestation. Real mess. Has me a bit at a loss. I know I'm supposed to be investigating this, but I have to know about his foolish cousin who got drunk one time. I need to know this. Are you Esleon? Oh, have we met? 
Sorry, I don't remember. Uh, never been good with names or faces or most details, really. Mom used to say my head would drift straight into the clouds if not for the canopy. Uh, were you looking for me? Yes, I am. I'm told you were the one who's been planting these stranglers everywhere, and you're in a lot of trouble. Me? No. Well, yes, but not intentionally. You see, my brother's a bit of a prankster, and strangler seeds look a lot like white acacia. Now, the short of it is, I did plant them. I just didn't know they were stranglers, and now I'm trying to get rid of them. If that's true, why haven't you killed off the stranglers? Ah, oh, killing them's not the hard part. A brood of poison will choke the roots until they're brown in the fronds. Trouble is, can't think of a way to use it without breaking the Green Pact. It's a real moral oh, quandary. Oh, okay, so the Green Pact, he worships plants, so he can't just kill them. So I could do it. Let me kill him for you. Oh, yeah, that'd do. Whew, <laughs> that's a load off my shoulders. So what do you need me to do? Dribble a bit of this in the water sources around here and the stranglers should die off in a few weeks. Just the stranglers, though. Promise. I should go apologize to Vinifoy for this. You should. I'm so glad that this was just one big misunderstanding because I was starting to believe that this wood elf was just pushing his beliefs on the high elves of Somerset, but accidents happen. I have prankster brothers too. I get it. But wait a second. If the stranglers were an accident, why are you vandalizing her work in the first place? Oh, vandalize? Me? I'm not the one herding plants in a cramped little rose. Lashing vines to stakes, or amputating the branches of perfectly healthy trees to warp them to some unnatural ideal. I was just showing her what natural beauty looks like. Oh, okay. So that's why you were planting new seeds, to make them beautiful. Well, the moment I spoke to her, I could tell she'd never seen untamed wilds. Her entire concept of nature is perverse, if I'm blunt. I thought if I could breathe some life into those sterile gardens, she might finally see what she's missing. Oh, he just wanted to share some of his homeland with her. That was just a big misunderstanding. I don't think he should have went into her garden and planted seeds without her permission, but it's nice that they have this love of plants, and he's trying to show her his way of looking at them. She really thought you were trying to kill her, dude. Well, I'm sure this little misunderstanding with the stranglers didn't help my case, but that's a bit much. Uh, I should clear things up with Vinifoy before this situation gets any more out of control. Tell me more about your green pact, in case I didn't cover everything. A sort of a vow. A promise to the green. That we'd protect it from arm, and in return it would be our own. Now, I know we're not in Valenwood, but those seeds are of the green. And the idea of harming them uh, makes me sick to the core. It's that serious? Better believe it. Any Bosma who so much as plucks a petal from the green is doomed to the ooze. Song left unsung forever after. Like you never were. Even if you don't think much of yourself, there's something to fear in that. But it's okay for me to poison the stranglers? For you? Sure. It's not your pact. For me? I'm hoping so. I'm supposed to protect the green, but we're a long ways from there. Ifra, forgive me if I'm wrong. Tell me what brought you to Somerset. All the stories I've heard about Somerset described it as a paradise. Pristine, idyllic, beautiful. The moment I heard the High Elves were opening the Isles to visitors, I knew I had to see them. Now that I'm here, it just feels... fake. How does Somerset feel fake to you? You know, artificial. Like everything is an imitation. It's like nothing can be its true self. Everything down to the last blade of grass has to be manicured. Forced to be something it's not. It's not beautiful. It's tyranny. That was beautiful. What he said was beautiful. That... That really hit me right here in the feels. But it is their land. This is how they want it. But it's the wilderness. Birds make their nests and Bosma grow their homes. But beyond those borders, it's Ifra's domain. I don't expect everyone to abide the Green Pact, but enslaving the land like this just feels wrong. No, oh, I kind of like this little wood elf. I'm glad it was just a misunderstanding, because he's really funny. Let's go poison the water. That sounds worse than I meant it to sound. At least we're not like that last girl who was poisoning zoo animals. We're trying to kill these stranglers. Alright, water. Get ready to be poisoned. Spoosh. Ugh. Running's hard! Ugh, I gotta run all the way there. Ugh. 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 Spoosh. 
Oh my gosh, I gotta run to the others too. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wine, complain. And another one bites the dust. Oh, uh, why are they so far apart? <laughs> eh. 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 Why can't I get over this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, why is this happening to me? I know I'm CP like 860 something, but I'm really lazy and I don't want to work hard. Someone play with me and carry me through quests. Okay. Let's return. I'm not going on my mount this time because I don't want to run through the forest like that again. That made me tired, and I didn't even do any physical activity. Ugh. I'm exhausted. I'm ready for a nap. I told you, this is all just a misunderstand. Oh, friend, a little help? Oh, what happened to you? Oh, that's right, she's still mad, she doesn't know. Oh. I never expected Eslian to show his face willingly around here again. Your search must have spooked him out of hiding. He came here with his head bowed, hoping I'd overlook his transgressions. He can take his pleas to the court. Oh my gosh, he's making a huge mistake. He just came to apologize. Uh, hi again. In a bit of a bind, as you can see. I tried to apologize. I really did, but she's telling the prosecution I've been terrorizing her. I could use some good news. How'd you fare with those stranglers? I poisoned them for you. You're good. Oh, thank you for, for that. It'll take some time for them to die off, but they'll be too sick to hurt anyone soon. Could you explain that to the good officers of the law here? How this was all an unfortunate accident and I helped make it right? Even though you did intend to tamper with her gardens, I think I'm going to help him. I really do. I did meddle a bit, but I didn't mean any harm by it. Surely tossing me in jail's blowing the whole thing out of proportion, right? Promise I'll never do it again. I'll even transplant my addition someplace where they'll be appreciated. Like I said, big misunderstanding, so I think I'm going to testify on his behalf. Oh, you're a regular saint. I knew the minute I met you that we'd be peas in a pod. You can count on me to do right by Vinifway. Still don't agree with her, but I'll think of a better way to make my point once this is all blown over. I'll hold you to it. I think he's learned his lesson. You must be the concerned bystander I'm hearing so much about. Both Vinifway and Esleon claim you can prove their case, which begs all sorts of questions. But I don't have time for that, so let's cut to the heart of the matter. Is Esleon guilty? Vinifway is really going to hate me, but he isn't at fault. He just wants to make things right. He helped me eliminate those stranglers. It was an accident. Given that your testimony is the only real evidence I have, I see no reason to continue dragging out this affair. Esleon will be fined for trespassing and criminal mischief, then released. If I see him here again, he will be jailed. That's fair and not so bad. Free the prisoner. Sorry, really. Truly sorry I am. Won't happen again, officer. He's so you cute. I'm seriously taking his side in this. Sorry, Benefway. A slap on the wrist. It'll take months, if not years, to restore my work to its original condition. You've done me and Somerset a great disservice today. He said he was sorry. This is actually a really good stopping point because I need a nap. I need two naps, actually. Do not judge me. Ugh, I really need to rest before tomorrow because it's my nephew's birthday party and I really want to be at 100% full energy for him. I love him so much. Thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave me a comment down below because I love hearing from all of you. And I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye, guys!